The history of, of winemaking in Baja goes way, way back. I mean, I'm talking about 500 years ago when the Jesuits came over and they were they needed wine for consecration. They they relied on Spanish wine and they started producing wine around here. Uh, that's how all the European varieties came over. Uh, it was Fray Junipero Serra who, who went about and took all the vines and, and started planting all over Baja California and all the way up to Sonoma. So uh, we've been here for a long time. Uh, the Spanish king decided to rip out all the vineyards of, of Mexico, but some survived because Baja California is such an area so far away from mainland Mexico, most of the vineyards here survived. So the oldest Mexican producing uh, in a continuous time producing wineries here in Baja California, which is Santo Tomas, 127 years old. And uh, about 60, 70 years ago, uh, people started producing wine here in the Guadalupe Valley. The Guadalupe Valley is a really interesting area because it was founded by 115 Russian families. They are the Molokans. They are the milkmaids. They, they, they just produce milk. And the, the Mexican government uh, they were seeking asylum, and Mexican government gave them this land because it was so far away from mainland. So we need someone to protect the land. So we, they placed the Russians here in the in the Guadalupe Valley, and they started producing grapes. Uh, they were basically a self-sustained community. Then you had uh, big companies, wine companies, come by. Uh, Domec, El Acheto started making wine here. Uh, Formex Ibarra. And, they, and, and everything was going good uh, until Montesquieu came by and we started making really good, high quality wine that is, uh, well, it was on another level. We were like the boutique winery that started the whole revolution in wine in Mexico. And this was in 1988 or so. The Baja California whole peninsula, is, it's a unique place in the world. Uh, the terroir here in the valley is really arid, so we're in a semi-desert-like area. Uh, most of the ground is decomposed granite, which allows for a good drainage of water, and then it stresses the vines a lot. So a vine is, a, is like, a, like a human being. It needs to be stressed in order to produce good grapes, and only with good grapes you get great wines. So you need to find a way to control the stress of the vine, with the natural stress of, of the arid area we're, we're on top of. So uh, we do get a, a good mineral quality into our wines, and our terroir really expresses a lot of what the Baja California area is all about. So it's good, firm, hardy wines. They tend to be really concentrated in aromas and flavors. Uh, you get uh, most of uh, good, tannins into our wines. So it's it's a really nice terroir to work with because our arid aridness, the lack of rainwater helps develop really good vines. And we are on a on a straight line. We're really close to the ocean, so the in ocean influence helps us a lot. Uh, on a summer day you'll get really hot, which is when the vines need the the warmth. And then on the night, it'll cool down. That oscillation of temperature that goes from anywhere 110 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, that's what the vine loves. And, and they, they like that, and they make better grapes and more concentrated grapes. That's what we're looking to put into our wines. Wines here tend to be really big, really bold, really concentrated. You feel like there's a lot of flavors put into the wine, and you, that is what the terror expresses here.